so I was just about to leave studio and I was watching uh, Citizen TV The Breakfast Show with Abdi Kadir or Mushomba and a few other leaders. And there's a very interesting narrative that was brought up. There are plans now, if at all the impeachment of DP Rigadi Gashagwa is delivered to the National Assembly, there are plans to ensure that the impeachment of President William Ruto is also brought before the Senate. Here is Senator Dan Madzu explaining the same. Uh, before I tell you that, I want to tell you that uh, I like what you have said. Anybody should be impeached. And if there is an impeachment motion of uh, the Deputy President, then we will also have an impeachment motion of the president. Good. Because there are one ticket yes. and there are one people. There's nothing wrong the Honorable Gashagwa has done. This trouble started a long time ago. What when, is the rationale of uh, bundling them into one? Uh, the rationale is, is that... Is it provided uh, well, for in law? Yes, yes, yes. If, if there's anyone who has breached the constitution many times, it is the president, not the deputy. Okay. It is the president who has breached the constitution so many times. So if there is going to be an impeachment motion, then the, we, we must tie the two together. Uh, while you, you, have, you, have, you process one, process the other, and we run the two impeachment motions concurrently. Mm -hmm. They have to be done at the National Assembly and at the same time uh, done at the Senate. And uh, therefore... Now in this video, I want us to look into why a motion to impeach the president is in the woodworks and also why I believe it is very dangerous for the president to be facing an impeachment motion. Now, without wasting any time, here's why I believe a Ruto impeachment is being brought. First up, the impeachment of the deputy president is handled by the National Assembly and the impeachment of the president is handled by the Senate. So it is very possible to have both impeachment motions at the same time, whereby the one for Rigadi is delivered today, the one for President William Ruto is delivered tomorrow. So that is uh, what Senator Manzo is looking to achieve. And here's where I find that dangerous. When we look at Rigadi Gashagwa's impeachment, the biggest and only crime that somebody can uh, pinpoint towards the deputy president is likely going to be tribalism. That is what someone can quote, that he is always in the mountain, always talking about Mlima Kenya, he rarely visits other regions, he's just like a super governor of Mlima Kenya. Those are grounds to not vote for somebody or to not like somebody politically, but it does not violate any part of the constitution. So it's very hard to prove that. But regardless, Rigadi will be facing politicians. Politicians, sometimes they look at facts, sometimes they look at their interest and how they are aligned politically. So nonetheless, despite that, he could get impeached. When we go to the Senate, where we could be having the president's impeachment motion, the narrative is a bit different. Because now we are talking about legalities. The SHIF was declared unconstitutional, and yet it is going to be implemented on October the 1st. The housing levy was declared unconstitutional, but collections have been ongoing. Those are direct disregard of court orders. But either way, I don't believe the president will be impeached by the Senate, even if an impeachment motion is brought. So the purpose of this concurrent impeachment is just to show Kenyans the bias that one is impeached for spending a lot of time in Mlima Kenya, yet the other, who has violated two court orders, continues to enjoy power despite violating the court orders. It is just to show like there is some form of political hypocrisy. And if they do a concurrent impeachment, that will be achieved for sure. Now, the second reason why I believe this impeachment of uh, President Ruto, which uh, Senator Dan is threatening, is very dangerous. The reason is this. An impeachment motion against President Ruto gives Raila Odinga the opportunity to have a redo of the 2022 general election. Here's why I say this. All Kamba senators will not be looking to impeach DP Rigadi. Kalonzo has said as much. All Mlima Kenya senators, a majority of them, will not be looking to impeach Rigadi. It is just the MPs who are anti-Rigadi. The senators will be looking to rescue him. That leaves Raila Odinga with the option to play middleman. He can choose to rescue President Ruto and give him enough numbers, or he can choose to betray President Ruto and vote for his impeachment, provided Rigadi is already impeached. Remember, the impeachment of the president comes after the impeachment motion of Rigadi has been delivered. And the impeachment motion of the president automatically takes a longer time than that of a deputy president. So if we arrive at a point where Rigadi has been impeached, Raila will be able to smell blood in the water like a shark. Because if he supports the impeachment of President Ruto and President Ruto goes, automatically Wetangula becomes president for 90 days and then we go back for fresh 
elections. So Raila will have the opportunity to go back to the ballot one last time. And even if not him, he can have one of his boys having a stab at the presidency. And based on the finance bill and uh, the impeachment of Gashagwa, Mlima Kenya will automatically be voting on the other side. They can join hands with Raila and Kalonzo and they will overthrow President William Ruto. He had better be sure that Raila Odinga is with him and with him to the end. If Raila betrays him and his impeachment motion is delivered, Mambo Kitaumana. This is the sad reality that I saw today in Citizen TV and I, I was about to leave studio. That's why I've decided I won't do this on video because uh, it'll take a lot of time to set up and we had already put aside the cameras and the lights and everything. So let me just allow me to just do the audio for today. But uh, nonetheless, look out for that. There is a stark reality that an impeachment motion for Igadi attracts an impeachment of President Ruto and that gives Ray Lodinga the chance to choose whether we go back for elections in 90 days or if Rigadi is the only one who will go home. Politics is very interesting. It is always changing day by day. But at the end of the day, guys, it's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.